Hey guys, this is the Goldfish, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. What we see here today is, of course, Duna. Ah, uh, Duna. Duna seems like the perfect planet to put a jeep on. Am I correct? You know, just go race around with a jeep? I think that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, I don't know, I, I, I feel like making a car in Kerbal Space Program, just like, you know, a... a proper car that looks like a car or something like that um, so I think that's what I'm going to be doing today and then hopefully sending it to Juna where it can live out the rest of its days so I'm probably going to speed up the build of the car um, you know just because I feel like sitting and not talking but building <laughs> It's not exactly become a Jeep, it's become more of a pickup truck. We got a little spot at the back here where, you know, he can load in stuff and uh, I've given it a nice blue flooring here, um, which at the same time will obviously supply power. Um, I've added in a little license plate here using the, um, the uh, thermometers. I'm in the wrong tab, whatever. Uh, and I've added little blinkers, you know, blinking lights. They don't they don't actually blink. Um, blinking not included. Um, oh, that probe. Where can I hide the probe? I'd like to add in the probe just so that I can control it without kerbals in it. Um, you know, and that'll provide sass as well. But we we may remove that. Hang on, can't we just add in this one as, like, cargo? There we go, he's carrying cargo. He's, he's just got a crate with him. That's actually quite... Yeah, I'm a genius. I'm a genius. <laughs> um, we got the antenna on the, on the, on the you know, on the hood here. Lights, more blinkers. Um, you know, another license plate. What's this? Uh, oh, wait, we'll get to that in a second. You know, you got the grills here in front. Um, oh, if we zoom in here, just move our way in here. In the hood, uh, we actually have an engine, uh, like a little uh, generator here, to supply power. Lights to obviously see. Um, I think let's take this thing for a spin. Uh, eventually, we'll probably, when we send this to Juna, be taking um, one of these with us with two kerbals in it that we can load in here once we're on juna so that'll work that'll be fine let's go try this out right here we go we got a little pickup truck on the on the on the runway extend that um let's turn on the lights and let's drive we may want to turn off the back steering actually lock that steering and lock that one more like an actual car now. 
Sweet. Let's see what kind of speed we can get with this thing. Building up to 18... I'm not sure what the max speed of these wheels are anymore. 20 meters per second. That's alright. Let's quickly convert that into kilometers per hour. Um, so 21 times 60. We'll get how many meters per minute. Times 60 again per hour. Divided by a hundred uh, by a thousand to get kilometers. Ah, uh, seventy-five kilometers an hour is this thing's. Uh, I'm sure it can go a little faster, but that's that's pretty much how fast we're going now. Seventy-five kilometers an hour. I mean, it's not extremely fast, but sure, why not? Twenty-two. Yeah, twenty-two and a half. Okay, sweet. So, let's see what happens if we turn off the lights, actually. Does that make it go faster? No. I was thinking maybe there'd be more electric charge for the thingamabobs. But the electric charge seems to be full, so... Okay, let's be careful here. Oh, let's see if we can ramp this thing up the uh, launch pad. Uh, what would be the ideal angle of attack? Um, okay, let's just be careful here. Easy up the ramp. Ooh, there we go. And then now, here we go. Up we go. Wee hoo! Over these things. <laughs> this is fun to play around. Oh no! Oh uh, well. We still get ascended to a uh, Juna anyway. And enough, enough messing around on, on the uh, on Kerbin. Right, here we are, <clears throat> in orbit, um, I've got a maneuver node set up so that we can, you know, go burn, go out to Juna, should be fine, should be dandy, I think we have enough fuel with us, um, if not, uh, we'll, we'll have to see, <laughs> we're just gonna assume that we have enough fuel though, so, <clears throat> let's see, 13 minutes till the burn, 8, 7, 6, oh, 20 seconds, okay, <laughs> No need to rush things. Um, let's go ahead and bring this out. And a throttle up. Gonna do a little bit of the uh, time warping here. Actually, is this a good idea? How's the rocket reacting? Stable enough, that's fine. I'm not sure if these nuclear engines can overheat. I don't believe so, but you know. Just to be sure. There we go, an encounter. Juno periapsis, this is still going down. Let's see how far down we can bring it now that we're here. Six, five, four, three, two. Oh, we're going back up. Okay. You know what? I may just actually. <clears throat> I may just go in to its sphere of influence right away. Let's quick save here just in case. I may just go into its sphere of influence and then just, you know, fix it there and probably maybe go straight for a landing. Might work. Why not? Uh, and otherwise, we'll load up the quick save, try again, right? Because that's why we have quick saves. And in my creative, not in my creative, in my career mode, I, I've actually been forgetting to use the quick saves. Like a very good point. I was trying to do this mission on the on Minmus. If you missed it, you can check it out. Um, and we are, or we, I arrived there, crashed, and then, you know, I'd forgotten to make a quick save, which was stupid. Very stupid of me. Okay, let's see how we're doing here. Thousand. Um, Juno's atmosphere is very thin, obviously, <clears throat> and we, if, if we're down too low, we might go straight for a landing. But I don't know, I, oh, we, we saved, we, we have way too much fuel with us. It's pretty funny. Okay, so here we are, going into the atmosphere. Going pretty deep. That's what she said. Uh, what, what? Uh, <laughs> no sexual innuendos on this channel. <laughs> yeah, we're heading downwards. Good. We'll wait for the sunrise any second now. Something, uh... Okay, here we go. And then we're gonna like play the Lion King song. Nah, when ya. I'm pretty sure that's copyrighted, so I'll stop right now. <laughs> Freaking content ID claims. Uh, 
what you're gonna do, right? Okay, here we go. I can feel the sun coming. Watch it. Here it comes. Get ready for the lens flare. You can see. You can see it's coming. Yeah, it's a coming. The rocket's already being lit up as well by the sun over there. Beautiful. There she is. Ma, Tiwenya. <laughs> yeah. I don't think anybody knows the actual text to that. You know, that that begin. Once it once it starts in English and it's like, you know, blinking, step out into the sun and all that. Then then I can then I can sing along. But that first part is just like shouting gibberish. That somewhat resembles what they actually sing. <laughs> uh, it always is fun landing on stuff like planets and and moons. It's I don't know. It never really loses its charm. Actually, no, it does. But you know, when you haven't been to a planet or a moon in a while, it's it's fun to then go land on it again. I haven't been to Juna in a while, you know, to actually land and all that. So <clears throat> yeah, it's it's fun. Down we go. Bring me to the surface, please. Open the parachutes, please, because I do not want to slam into the planet. Slamming is never a good idea. There we go. Probably gonna want to... There we go. Okay, there come the parachutes, or at least the first ones. The other ones, I'm not sure at what height they open. Actually, I believe we can check. Um, oh, they open now. Okay. Minimal pressure. Oh, I guess it has to do with the pressure or something. I don't know. Because obviously, it shows you when they open here as in like they open up. Now they've just been deployed, but I don't know. Okay. Ooh, I'm seeing rocks down below. Oh, then they better hurry up. <laughs> that does not seem safe. Turn off the sass. Here we go. Slow me down, slow me down, slow me down. Now to hope that it actually survives the opening of the parachutes. Oh, these have opened, so that's gone safely. Let's hope that these open up. If these engines fall off, it's not even such a big deal. I just need this thing intact, you know? That would be great. Oh, that floor feels really close. I don't know, maybe it's just like a mirage, me thinking it's close. But it... Come on! Hello, parachutes! Thank you. Sheesh. I can see the sand from here and it's like... Oh right, we were supposed to open. Uh, there's our shadow. 13, I think that's an alright speed to be landing with. Should be. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, 12, oh, it feels a little fast, actually. There we go. Oh, boy, that was a bad idea. Um, we're fine. Let go of the buggy. There we go. Oh, a bit of a rough landing. All the engines have spread out. But we're fine. Oh, oh, why the hell is it... Why the hell is it doing this? Put me down. Is the gravity so low here, or what? Um, let's set it to docking mode. Here we go. Ooh, the gravity is low. Okay. Now we're gonna park it here. Then we're gonna get the Kerbal out. So switch to... Not this one. The Kerbal's in this one. Let's get Bob out. <clears throat> there you go, buddy. And then, ooh, I never actually checked if he can actually get into the chair. Board. There we go. One thing I do notice is that we have these two poles here from the couplers. That's a little disappointing, but whatever. So, um, let's take it off the brakes. Oh, his head, his head sticks out the roof. This is why you should test these things with kerbals in it. But this is fun. This is fun. Let's disable the steering on the back here. Uh, I'm not throttling up at all. Where do we want to drive? I don't know. Let's go visit that rock over there, and then we'll probably call it an episode. 
That's the radio, by the way. I hope that's not a real song. I was just, mm, you know, making some stuff up there. <laughs> ah, driving along curb in here. There we go. Let's get some fancy screenshots of that. Oh, let's just break a little. No, no. Oh, it survived. The Kerbal's out. Oh, oh no. It's tumbling. It's tumbling. Um, okay, okay, okay. We're fine. Tip over. No, you got it. You got to tip over some way. Ah. That's terrible. Switch to the Kerbal. Let's see if we can actually knock it back upright. Freaking hell. <laughs> Me just... You know, gently driving along. Okay, I, w I was speeding a little, I'll admit. Let's see if we can... Let's first get a screenshot of this. <laughs> the Kerbal's all happy with him, with himself that he crashed the... Uh, that he crashed the, the, the thing. You were supposed to be controlling this thing while I was taking pictures. Jump! Oh, ah, that's brutal. Okay, maybe with RCS fuel... Whoa! Whoa! Freaking acrobat Kerbal, did you see that? Ugh. Just... Uh. Okay, let's try and just make him bored. See what happens. Okay, and now what happens if we make him unbored? Leave the seat. There we go! Come on! Come on. Whoa! Frickin' hell! What the hell? What the hell? Tornado! This thing's gone crazy! I'm not doing anything! Switch to the car. Ugh. Yes! 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 Okay. Now... No! No! Frickin' Kerbal! I had it upright. Ah! It's doing it again! <laughs> this is crazy. Okay, Kerbal, get the hell out of me! Uh. Uh. I must get control of car. The Kerbal is like... <laughs> the Kerbal is not amused. Strange, really. No, you're kidding me. And now we're still... Uh. Now, leave the seat. And here we go again. Oh. Uh. Oh. Yes. Yes. Stay on your wheels. Oh no. It seems I've now lost the truck completely. Um, I can't find it anywhere. It just sort of flew off with the Kerbal. I think. Like, what's this thing at 840 meters away? Seems like it's through the planet or something. It's, it's, oh. And for the rest, the truck has just disappeared. Um, which I guess we'll end this episode on. We saw some interesting dance moves from the pickup truck. We did a little, very little bit of driving, I guess. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and all that fun stuff. And I'm going to sit here and be confused about this disappearing dancing truck now. Um, see you guys next time.